ഹൈ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വെൽക്കം ടു എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഗ്രാഫിക്സ് ക്ലാസ് ഞാൻ ഡോക്ടർ വിനോദ് കുമാർ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഇൻ ഐസോമെട്രിക് പ്രൊജക്ഷൻ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡ്രോ ദ ഐസോമെട്രിക് വ്യൂ ഓഫ് എ ഹെക്സഗണൽ പ്രിസം ഇൻ എ ടിൽറ്റഡ് പൊസിഷൻ നോട്ട് സ്റ്റാൻഡിംഗ് അപ്പ് റൈറ്റ് ബട്ട് ഇൻ എ ടിൽറ്റഡ് പൊസിഷൻ ഹൗ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് റിമൈനിങ് ഇൻ ദസ് ഓൺ എച്ച് പി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് റെസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഓൺ എച്ച് പി ഓൺ എ സൈഡ് ഓഫ് ബേസ് വിത്ത് ആക്സിസ് പാരലൽ ടു വി പി and the rectangular face containing that edge making 60 degrees to hp or you can say axis making 60 degrees to hp so it is in a tilted position you have to draw the object in the tilted position then inscribe it in a box draw the iso view of the box and inside the box locate the points of the hexagonal prism that's a procedure okay let us see the simple position a b c d e f g h i j k l plan and elevation of the hexagonal prism resting on hp on its base with an edge of base de purposefully kept perpendicular to vp draw the plan and elevation redraw that elevation how this angle making 60 degrees to hp when this angle is 60 the axis also makes 60 the question says this rectangular face is making 60 degrees to hp so i am redrawing it and showing that angle there a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash d1 dash e1 dash f1 dash g1 dash h1 dash i1 dash j1 dash k1 dash l1 dash i have redrawn that elevation black and projected the plan a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 f1 g1 h1 i1 j1 k1 l1 axis o1 p1 the new plan black elevation final elevation final plan agreed this much is known to you from projection of solids then what do you do inscribe that in a box 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 the box which contains the prism 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash 7 dash 8 dash the green green box you have inscribed the prism in the green box agree okay? now draw the two isometric axes at 30 degrees two iso axes at 30 degrees take the distance 1 2 and mark 1 2 take the distance 1 4 and mark 1 4 complete the parallelogram 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 take the height up what's the height this is the height this is not the prism height prism height is given to us 70 30 mm side 70 mm height the prism height is 70 and the side of the prism is 30 this side is not 70 this is more than 70 okay take that height from all the four corners and the complete 5 6 7 8 5 dash 6 dash 7 dash 8 dash 5 6 7 8 8 so you have drawn the box inside which the hexagonal prism is remain now where are the points of the hexagonal prism look at this this much above there are two points so what i do is take the side be very careful listen carefully take the side mark it here mark it here same as that is same as this <coughs> this being x and y prism mark it down mark it down draw this horizontal line draw this horizontal horizontal this is parallel to this axis draw these two lines okay now on that line this far away is b this far away is a this far away is k this far away is j it's the same distance take that b a j k four points you have taken agreed now on one six on one six or one five or oh sorry on one two this far away is a line locate it same as this connect it similarly similarly take this distance mark off mark off draw that this far away is d e h g d e h g so what same distance same distance okay now what all you have got you have got a b d e h g h j k what is remaining what is remaining are c f i k i l agreed look at this point 
draw a vertical line, look at this point. Mark it here. Mark it here, same. Mark it here, mark it here. This much up, C and F. This much down, I and L. Same distance. C, F, I, L. You have got all the 6 plus 6, 12 points. Now you have to connect them. You have to connect them. The top surface, G, H, I, J, K, L. This is, this is the isometric project, isometric view of the hexagonal prism that is resting on HP on an edge with the rectangular face containing that edge making 60 degrees to HP. Okay, so after locating the points, you have to connect the visible edges carefully and the invisible edges by dotted lines. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. The top will be visible. This part a B F G G H A B A B G H will be visible. This side will be visible. The back side E K E K E K E K. The back side will not be visible, and also F L F L will not be visible. All other edges will be visible. Okay. Similarly, you can be asked to draw pentagonal prisms, triangular prisms, etc. The distances which you take upwards can be marked. But I don't know how long you will understand that. Same as this. To get this points. This distance. Okay. So you have to draw this and then. This is a slightly difficult question, consumes a lot of time because you have to draw this simple position plan and elevation, this red drawn position, and this. And while drawing this, you have to be extremely careful to transfer the correct distances. Bit sector takes some time. So you have to be very careful. Okay, if you are impressed with the content of this video, please subscribe my channel, like it, and share it among your friends. Okay. Thank you.